Hey everyone, it's Monday, and I'm getting ready to go out with Kayla today. She called me this morning and asked me what I was doing. Actually, she messaged me, and then she called me, and she wanted to know if I would spend the day with her and the kids and go shopping and go back to Plato's Closet and go to the mall, and of course, we'll grab something good to eat, so I've got a few minutes before I have to meet her, uh, so I wanted to talk to you about a few things and show you some things, and of course, do an outfit of the day. Let me back up. I never get my chair the way I want it before. Where I start. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, but anyway, uh, I wanted to show you some things that I picked up recently. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I wore it yesterday for Easter and I have it back on today. And it is a wonderful foundation. It goes on beautifully, uh, full coverage, lasts all day. Uh, it did not cake or crease in my fine lines. Uh, I love the way that it wore. I think it's about what is it, 40 or $42 a bottle. I'm going to go back today and get another sample of it, and I got it in the shade 1.5. And um, I'm not saying that I would not invest that much money in a foundation because I may possibly buy it in the future. Uh, I think it's a wonderful foundation, but it is not so much better than my um, Wet n' Wild Photo focus that I will spend the money on it right now. But I will uh, go back and get another sample and keep wearing it and see what I think about it. But it is a beautiful foundation. I have nothing negative to say about that foundation. I'm going to go today and look on the bottle because I just grabbed the sample the other day and I really didn't even read on the uh, uh, bottle to see if it's got any SPF or any kind of skin properties. I don't, I'm not even sure what the foundation is. I just know that hopes that everybody likes it. So I got a sample and I do love the foundation and I love the way it wears. And looking back at my pictures, I thought that it photographed well. I like the way it looks on the video. It covers up any imperfections. I hardly need any concealer with it. So the more I talk about it, I'm about to talk myself into grabbing a bottle of it. It is a very good foundation and I may eventually uh, buy it in the future. And then the same day, when was it Saturday, I also got a, I never have, believe it or not, tried the Forever um, Makeup Forever High Definition uh, Foundation. A lot of women love that foundation. I have never tried it. So I do have a sample of that that I want to try sometime this week. And uh, did I get any other samples? I just got a sample of my Peter Thomas Roth uh, oil. Sometimes when I go in there, I get a sample because they give you a pretty good sample and you can use it a couple Sorry about that. My phone just rang, so I just uh, turn it off and I'll uh, call them back. But anyway, uh, the Peter Thomas Roth 3% uh, retinoid um, serum. Love that serum. I've not uh, repurchased my Retin-A yet, but I will. I'm trying to wait until I go back to get my Botox. and I'm hoping to get it in May. Uh, maybe I'll pick up some Retin-A when I do go in to get my Botox. But I'm loving this serum, and I will continue to buy the serum even if I alternate with my Retin-A. I love the Peter Thomas Roth serum. I do think it is making a difference in my skin. Okay, I also repurchased, this is what I have on my lips today, is my NYX lingerie. A liquid lipstick and embellishment. I had this once before. Kayla seen it on me in a video and she loved it. So, of course, I gave it to her. If my girls compliment me on something or they brag on something, I usually will hand it down to them and then just go buy it again for myself. I love to give my girls things. If it makes them happy, it makes me happy. But it's my basic color, the purplish brown. I have three. Of, let me grab them. I have three of these now and they're all basically the same thing. They have some beautiful uh, uh, shades in that collection, but this is embellishment. This is the one that I repurchased, and this is the one that I have on my lips today. And then I have um, Confident. You've seen me wear it quite a few times. The set, let me try to turn it to where you can see the color more than the writing. I'm not sure how well I can do that. But if you can see, Confident is darker than um, embellishment. And then I have Bustier, which is along the same line. But it's a little bit lighter. I don't know how well you can tell. I have bustier, embellishment, and confident. And they're all three similar, but they're just a shade lighter or darker. But I love um, embellishment. It may be my favorite. But Kayla really liked it. She wears it quite often. But I love those. Um, let me put these back. I love those uh, NYX lingerie. Um, Liquid lip colors, I love them. They have a lot of beautiful shades. If you like nude shades and you like a, lip, a liquid lipstick, you need to check those out. I feel like I have something on my teeth. Oh, that reminds me. 
Uh, remember, I, I remember I have a bad habit of saying member. In the country, we do not pronounce it remember. We say member. Remember when this? Remember when that? But do you remember when I mentioned the tuxedo, charcoal, uh, teeth whitening uh, powder? Well, Hope done some research on it, and she said you can buy the charcoal capsules at Walmart, and it's the same thing, and that's what she did. And she gave me one of them, and I loved it. I brushed my teeth with it last night, and it's gritty. It's a powder now. It's a little gritty, which I don't care for. I like that. It doesn't bother me at all. But you just put the, uh, you take the capsule. It's got the charcoal powder inside, and you um, break the capsule or open the capsule, and then you put the powder the charcoal powder on your uh, damp toothbrush, and then you just brush with that for a couple minutes. Now, it will turn your mouth and teeth completely black because it is pure charcoal powder is what it is. But you brush your teeth with that for a couple of minutes, and then you follow up with your regular toothpaste and brush your teeth real good. But it is supposed to whiten and absolutely clean between your teeth, just like it would at a dentist is what they say. It gets in there and it cleans between your teeth really well. But I've only used, like I said, I borrowed one of Hope's capsules, or she gave me one. I didn't borrow it. I'm not going to give it back to her. But she gave me one of her charcoal capsules, and I used it last night, and I really enjoyed it. So I probably will buy me some of that, because you know how fanatical I am about my teeth. But I use several things on my teeth to keep them healthy and white. But I do recommend the, that you try the charcoal powder if you're interested in a gritty uh, um, cleaner that will clean good between your teeth and uh, will whiten your teeth. A lot of people don't like that feel. It doesn't bother me at all. Okay, now I still have, I'm wearing the uh, um, the Vegas Nay uh, Absolute, what were they called? I think I threw the package away. Something Absolute. And it's the one I said that has the sections and the clusters of lashes. I enjoyed those lashes so well yesterday for Easter that I put them back on today. And uh, Vegas Nay, I keep calling them Vegas Nay, but the brand of, it, of Vegas Nay is Allure. And I think they're very beautiful lashes. But that same day at Ulta, I bought, uh, I picked up the Mega Volume um, by Ardell. I thought they were pretty lashes too. So I have those to try maybe sometime this week. It's Ardell 251 uh, Mega Volume. But I'm a big fan of, uh, I'm going to put them in my drawer. I'm a big fan of false lashes. I've worn them for years. And to be honest, I don't feel complete. My makeup does not feel complete if I don't have them on. So I usually wear them every day. Okay, uh, my little earrings that I have on. I love these little studs. Me and Hope, uh, we were in uh, Old Navy, and we went in there to uh, buy some flip-flops. They have the best flip-flops, and they had them on sale for, I'll go ahead and show you those. They had them on sale for $2, and I picked up the silver pair, the gray, and I've already wore them, but I got something on them. But uh, I think Old Navy uh, flip-flops are the best for the price. They're very good quality, and they last all summer. You can get a pair and wear them all summer. I wanted the black, but they didn't have the black in my uh, size. And uh, Old Navy flip-flops run a little bit small, so I had to get a 9 in these. And usually I wear an 8. Uh, sometimes, now that I've lost weight, uh, some of the stuff, I'm, my shoes that I'm going to show you this week that came from Play-Dohs were sevens and sevens and a half. So I have dropped like a, a shoe size, a whole shoe size. But these do run small, so I got them in a nine. And I love Old Navy flip-flops. I think everybody probably knows about Old Navy flip-flops. But if you're looking for a good pair of everyday, inexpensive flip-flops, check out Old Navy. They're great. Okay, but anyway, while we were getting ready to check out of Old Navy, uh, Old Na did I say Navy? Navy, when we were checking out of Old Navy, they had the jewelry uh, section there when you get ready to go in line. And Hope saw these earrings, and they she, she loved them. And she said, Mommy, these are the sparkliest, shiniest uh, CZ earrings I've ever seen. And sure enough, they are. I don't know how well you can tell here, but in that fluorescent lighting in the store, they just shine. They're beautiful. And I like them because they lay flat against my old saggy earlobes. We've talked about my earlobes before. But uh, not every pair of uh, earrings uh, fits well with my uh, enlarged uh, holes in my ears, my lobes. But these fit up flat against it, and I loved them. And they're just silver with the CDs. They're very beautiful and sparkly. I don't think that you can tell on here how pretty they are. And they are a real good everyday size. I like the size of these. And they came in the little package, and it was $5.95, but... They had their jewelry 20% off, so I got the silver ones, and I think Hope ended up going with gold. I'm not even for sure. 
But she picked out a pair, and I picked out a pair. And she got a pair of uh, flip-flops uh, in light pink. She's drawn to pink right now, which is unusual because she's never really been into pink. But this summer, she's already bought two. This spring, she's already bought two pair of light pink shoes. Okay, and then my Aunt Diane, my sweet aunt, she sent me a little package with some goodies in it. And I've already looked at this, but I'm going to take them out and show them to you. She's so good to me. She thinks about me all the time. She's all the time sending me stuff. But I enjoy giving her stuff too, and she knows that. But um, some of that stuff I had never even heard of before, and I'm excited about trying it. But uh, I love bubble. Does anybody else like bubble wrap? I love to sit and pop them. I think it's so uh, comforting, stress reliever. But uh, the whole time growing up, us kids would fight over who was going to Pop the bubble wrap. I guess all kids do that. But anyway, okay, let's see. I'm just going to ran randomly pull things out of here. This first thing is Peter Thomas Roth, and I love, I love Peter Thomas Roth. I love that brand. I would recommend it. I've used their face washers, their scrubs. Now, I did try a sample of the 20, the 24 Garrett the 24 karat gold face mask. I was not a big fan of that. It was very tacky and sticky, and it did not want to wash off very good. And I read reviews on it, and it did not get very good reviews. But that is the only product from Peter Thomas Roth that I have used that I did not care for. Okay, and I had never heard of this, but this is the Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Skin Care Massaging Bar, Massaging Bar for Bath. And uh, it just says, Luxurious, I cannot speak today, which I'm not, I'm not good at talking most days, but today I'm having trouble. Luxurious, clean... Cleansing formula leaves skin clean, soft, and refreshed. Uh, innovative massaging uh, head stimulates skin for a truly unique bathing experience. Hmm. I ain't even opened it. Oh, okay, massaging head. Okay, it's got the little nubs right here. Oh, yeah, and I guess you just start massaging it on your skin. Got a nice, clean, soapy smell. Yeah, I'll be excited to use that. I guess you just wet it and use it in your bath. Stimulate skin for truly unique bathing experience. Yeah, next time I take a bath or shower, I'm going to use that. You see the little nubs on it? But yeah, I'm excited about that. Okay, the next two things go together. I'm rattling right my bag. And it is also Peter Thomas Roth. Uh, it is the Mega Rich Shampoo and Conditioner. I am very, very, I have never tried any of his hair care, uh, hair care stuff or the body stuff, just the facial stuff. But I love this little travel size. It'd be cute for a trip. But it is the Mega Rich Shampoo and Conditioner with Biotin B7 Complex, Vitamin C, E, Pro Vitamin B, something, BS for clean, shiny, nourished, healthy looking hair. So I'm excited about trying those. Next time I shampoo my hair, they got a nice clean smell. The next time I shampoo my hair, the next time I take a bath and wash my hair, I'm doing all this. And I'll let you know how well I liked it. Okay, the next thing is, uh, it says Morgan on it. I guess that's the brand. And it's a real pretty, it looks like a real pretty, um, I should have read on the bottom of this. I'm not really sure. I think it must be a... Um, it's really pretty. Do you see that? It's a beautiful coppery shade. And I think it's a lip gloss. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was a shimmery uh, eyeshadow or a lip gloss, but that's pretty. Got a, a little bit of a pepperminty smell, but it ain't too bad. Too, it's not too over the top. But yeah, that's a very, very beautiful shade. Very unique. It's an orangey, coppery look color. It'd be really pretty in the fall. But like I said, I've never heard of Morgan. Okay. Now this is a, a CoverGirl a Trio eyeshadow palette that... Uh, she said, I think she said the story behind this was she sent her husband out to pick her up some gray shadow because she watched one of my videos and she loved my gray shadow. And I think that he picked her up something that she didn't like. 
and she was just going to pass it down to me to see if I liked it. And it actually looks like something I'm going to really enjoy. It looks like some just some gray, taupey shades, and it just says cover girl. It doesn't have the uh, label came off the back, so I'm sorry that I cannot tell you the shades of this eyeshadow. But I will show you when I wear that. I think I will wear that tomorrow. To ch tomorrow's church, tomorrow's Tuesday. I think I'll do an eye look with that and show you that. Okay, this next thing is Dr. Robert Ray. Have you ever heard of that? It's a severe... Severe Line Refine. It's an eye serum, I guess. Let me see. I should have read this stuff, but as you can tell, I'm doing it for the... I, I pulled this stuff out of the bag the other day and looked at it, but I didn't read anything. Hydro Enhanced Serum. It just says Severe Line Refine Hydro Advanced Serum. I guess it's just an all-over facial serum, so I'll be excited to use that. To use, apply twice a day to cleansed skin. Apply to targeted areas, allowing to fully dry. Yeah, just wherever you have fine, line or fine lines or wrinkles, you just uh, apply it to your uh, lines and let it fully dry, and then I guess you can put your makeup and everything over it. Yeah, I'll be excited to try that. Anything that'll help? With these lines and wrinkles. I'm telling you, though, you guys, you need to get a sample. What you can't hardly tell with a sample, you can tell the texture, but the Peter Thomas Roth at 3% retinol serum, it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful product. And then she sent me a little um, perfume sample, and it is, uh, hold on, B-E-L-A-R-A. Bellara, Bellara, and it is a very, um, it's, it smells beautiful, but it's a very intense, strong scent. I'm not going to try it today. I think I'll just wait and try it when I'm home, just in case, you know, uh, for some reason. Some scents will make me nauseous or give me a headache, but uh, it smells really nice. So I'll try that when I'm home one day and let you know how I like it. But that was everything, and of course, she wrote me a sweet little no, uh, I love my aunt very much. She's one of my biggest supporters, and I really appreciate you thinking about me, Diane. Uh, this video is almost 15 minutes, so I think that's everything I want to show you today. Now, I do have my uh, Play Those Closet stuff that I'm so excited. I may even do a try-on haul. I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to do that. But I have several things from Play Those Closet, and we're going back today. I need to wipe that off, or I'm going to be wearing it on my clothes. But, um... We're going back today. Me and Hope went Saturday. Then Kayla wants to go today. So I'm going to be looking again. So I may have some more stuff to add to my haul. But uh, we're going to play Play-Doh's Closet. We're going over to the mall. Uh, I'll probably, I think I'm going to run into Macy's today and see what they've got in. And I went into Forever 21 the other day and picked up a few little things. But I will show you an outfit of the day real quick. And then I'm going to, uh, excuse me, then I'm going to get my stuff ready. She's supposed to pull up on the hill here and meet me. And I'm going to ride with her and... I probably won't, I am burping like crazy. I probably won't vlog today because I, I have my babies and they keep me pretty busy. Um, and so I'm going to spend the day with her and Kanan in Brooklyn. And we had a wonderful Easter yesterday. It was beautiful. Uh, everything was, the weather wasn't great, but the whole day was just a beautiful day with my family. And we had good food. Actually, I've ate too much. Today, I was supposed to cut back and start a strict week, but today I'll be going out with Kayla. So, we will probably eat while we're out today, but I will try to do, uh, I'll try to be good the rest of the week. I think I have put on a few pounds, but I'm okay with that because you're going to have times like that when you uh, indulge and enjoy your holidays, enjoy your family. Me and Hope went out, and I did I tell you this, uh, we went out Saturday and ate at Buffalo Wild Wings. It was delicious. I ordered the cheese sampler platter, and it was absolutely one of the best things that I have ever ate, have, have ever eaten. I loved it because I love cheese anyway, and it comes with grilled cheese and cheese bites and cheese sticks, and then they serve you all these different kinds of sauces, and I am a big sauce. I love to dunk. I'm a dipper and a dunker. I love to dunk, uh, dip stuff in ranch and uh, different kind of chipotle sauces and barbecue sauces. I'm all about that. But I had never ate at Buffalo Wild Wings and absolutely am crazy about it and will go back. Love it. We may even do that today. I'll let Kayla pick what we eat today. But I'm going to step up real quick and show you my... I just have a real distressed looking outfit on today. Show you my outfit and then get myself together and get ready to meet up with her. So, 
I have uh, a distressed tea that I bought from Plato's Closet uh, several months ago. It's just a real pretty uh, taupey tan color. And as you can see, it's got a lot of holes and distressing. And then I've got a tan cami underneath it. And uh, it's a size medium and it's a little oversized, but I like it. But what I was saying, I was, then I finished what I was saying. I put on a few pounds, but my family liked that. They say I look better, but uh, I'm going to have to watch. I don't want to gain any. I'm okay right now, but I don't want to gain any more. I've not weighed myself. I don't make a habit of weighing myself. I've not weighed myself in a couple of weeks. But what I think I'll do is just kind of have a really, uh, I'll watch this week. And then by Friday, I'll weigh in before the weekend and just kind of see where I'm at. And I'll report back to you and let you know how much I weigh. But uh, it's a taupey tan colored distress tea. And I've just got it tucked in some uh, camo pants that's got quite a bit of distressing. And I actually just tore the tags. I've had these. Uh-oh, dropped my stuff. Um, I've actually had these pants a long time. And I don't know why. I just never had a desire to wear them. But I thought I would uh, get them today and take the tags off of them. They came from Buckle. I do like Buckle. Buckle is a very expensive store. They have beautiful clothes. And I used to be really bad to shop in Buckle. Not bad. I mean, I liked it. I enjoyed my stuff. But I'm going through a different phase now. And I don't have to have, like, the Buckle brand, the Miss Me Jeans, or Rock Revival. I think they're beautiful. But I find that I'm more into a plain, um, just a... Um, casual like a, a skinny leg black pant I, I like a little detail but i like a little zippers and snaps and stuff like that but i'm not really into the bling like i used to be like the blinged out pockets or the bootleg i don't even wear a bootleg or flared uh, jeans anymore my girls say i look better in straight legs or skinny legs but now um i do enjoy these pants like i said it's the first time i put them on and i'm going to enjoy them because i love anything camo and you know that about me now i love camo but i don't know why i did not grab for these pants before today but they came from buckle and they they are a size five which they are just a little bit as you can see roomy on me but i'm fine with that i think some outfits look good with a little bit of um uh, uh, bagginess. I think it puts a little edge on the outfit. I like that look, but where I am thin, I don't want it to overtake me too much, you know what I'm saying? But these pants were um, $39.95, which was a little spendy, you know, for a pair of uh, camo pants. But Buckle, Buckle are, they are uh, an upper higher end uh, store, so, and they don't have a lot of sales usually, but now they are very popular in our area. We have a, a buckle in each uh, local mall, and they are very well known and very well loved. Buckle is a nice store. They have really beautiful shoes, but they are expensive. Two and three hundred dollars, some of them. But anyway, size five, and they're a little baggy, but I like that. And I just tucked my shirt partially in. And I put on my um, camel-colored belt. I think this belt came from American Eagle. Most of my belts are just American Eagle belts. Now, American Eagle jeans, and I've told you this before, are my all-time favorites. I love American Eagle jeans. I love the way they fit me. I love everything about them. And that's my go-to everyday jeans. Okay. And I just put on my little um, tan-colored or caramel-colored uh, booties. I keep saying I'm going to give up my boots and start going with my heels and my sandals, but I can't hardly do it. I love boots. And to be honest, I may wear boots all year round. I may wear them all summer. I may put them on with my shorts and my tank tops. I like a, I like a pair of boots. I love them. And I like anything that's got a little bit of a heel or a wedge to it. I think it just makes everything look... Uh, come together better makes you I don't know I think it makes you keep your posture better and I, I think it looks pretty when you walk if you got a little bit of a heel but here's my look here's the back of it and I'm still packing the altered state bag from Gabriel Brothers I've enjoyed this purse and I knew that I would and it really looks good with my it really looks good with my outfit today I know you're not supposed to be matchy matchy all the time but sometimes I like that look and if I like it, I do it. I don't I don't go by the rules. I break the rules every day, and I don't care. You know, I like whatever I like. It makes me happy. It makes me feel good. That's what I do. And I think that's the way we need to be. If it brings you joy, if you want to match your belt and your shoes and your handbags, go for it. And if you want to not, 
do that too, you know. I think style is a very personal, individual thing, and I think you need to have fun with it. But my hair is just uh, still going on my curls. I washed it a few days ago and curled it. Still going on the curls for that. I loved my hair yesterday for Easter. Uh, I just have it pulled back, if you can see. And I'm really, really, really enjoying wearing my hair long, down, curly, and messy looking. I'm enjoying that look. And I've just got a, um, what do I have on? A gray smoky eye. Um, my embellishment. No jewelry. I'm going to make a point to quit picking up my nails this week. I have got myself in such a bad habit. And I think it's just a nervous habit. I don't even realize I'm doing it. But I've got them so sore. But, and my cuticles are in a mess. But uh, I'm going to try my best this week to do better on that. But yeah, this is my look. I'm ready for the day. I'm ready to spend the day with my uh, daughter, Kayla. I love her very much. I don't spend as much time with her usually as I do hope because she does have Brooklyn and she homeschools Brooklyn. And she, Kayla is a homebody. She loves, she does love to get out and shop and she's a complete girly girl. And uh, she loves sparkle, bling, pink, anything pink and sparkly. She loves it. Uh, me and Hope and Kayla, let me sit down just for a second. I'm chatty, ain't I? Me and Hope and Kayla are best friends. We are very close, but we are all three different. We all have different tastes and styles, and that's the way it should be. You know, most women are different that way. But she is all girly girl. She likes the little roughly like skirts and that. Well, you know, if you follow her on Instagram, uh, it's Kayla Dawn Cook. She has a beautiful Instagram page. She's got a lot of followers, so she's uh, growing very fast. Uh, she started off, uh, well, she started doing it, uh, she'd been dedicated to it and doing it real, um, what am I trying to say, scheduled, uh, routine, every day, you know, structured. She is very, uh, um, still not what I'm trying to think of. She's very dedicated. Anyway, she she pretty much posts as an outfit of the day or the look of it, a look of the day every day on her Instagram. So you need to check her out. She's very beautiful. She looks like a little uh, Barbie doll. Everybody, ever since she's been born, uh, they've told me that, and I'm very proud of her. But what I, what I was saying is, um, I don't get to spend as much time with her because she does homeschool in Brooklyn and she stays home a lot. Kayla is a homebody. She loves being home. She loves spending time with her children. She loves to sit home and enjoy a cup of coffee and just sit on her couch and watch her babies play. And she is a very good mother and a very good wife and a very good daughter, and I'm very proud of her. And Hope, she has turned more like me. Me and Hope are real edgy, and we're ready to get up, get out, do something. Uh, we are not much to stay home at all. Now, Hope likes to lounge. She is, out of all three of us girls, she is the lounger. She can lay on the couch and lounge all day long and play a game or watch YouTube. Or She used to read a lot. Hope used to like to read a whole lot. She don't do that as much now that she's had the baby. But she can sit and watch TV or she can play a game and she can lounge all day. Now, I don't do that. I cannot. I've got to get up, get ready, start my day and get out and do something. If it's just to go walk around or go meet up with a friend or go to Walmart or just anything, I cannot. If I'm home and I'm sitting around, that could be a fun fact about me today, I guess. If I'm home and I'm sitting around or laying around, I'm not feeling well. And I do have those days, you know. But most of the time, God blesses me to get up and have energy to get up, put my clothes and my makeup on. And my girls have been laughing at me because since I lost all my weight this time, I get up every day and I put my makeup on. I don't care if I'm just going out to the post office or if I'm just going down to see them. You know, they laugh at me because I'm in full makeup, lashes, hair, clothes, the whole nine yards because I spent so much of my time being overweight and not feeling good about myself. And when I when I am overweight or when I was overweight, I don't ever intend to be in overweight again. But when I am overweight, I will not buy myself anything. I will not buy new clothes. I'll wear the same thing over and over. I will hardly feel like putting makeup or hair or anything on. You know, I get I get kind of in a rut and I start feeling down on myself. And I know you shouldn't do that, but I do. And that's, you know, that's the truth. So when I'm bigger, I get in this rut and I don't even want to clean up at all unless I have to. But then when I lose my weight, I get so excited and I just want to clean up every day. And I'm getting older, you know, I want to embrace my years, my, uh, my good years. And I told my mom, they laugh at me because I think my mom, my mom is 68, she'll be 69 this year. 
And we always say she's almost 70 because it makes her, I guess, she looks so good for her age anyway, but she will be 70 uh, in a couple of years. And nobody can believe she's as old as she is. But uh, I said, Mom, when I'm your age, I'm still going to be sporting my eyelashes and my holy jeans and my wild, long, dark hair. And I probably will until I get to where I just don't feel like doing it. I will probably do it all. And, but my mom, is she she is, uh, for 68, she's got pretty style, too, and she uh, she takes pride in herself. My mom was never um, high maintenance by any means, and she never bought expensive beauty care products. She's always naturally beautiful and stuff, but she does like to dress up. She does like to have nice things. Now, she won't spend much on anything. She likes to find stuff at a, a good deal. She likes to thrift or yard sale, which we all do, but now I don't care a bit. I can yard sale and buy something for a quarter. Or thrift, and then I can also go out and buy something for 50 bucks. I don't care. I'm not, and I used to spend way more money than that. But one of these days, I want to tell you about my experience when I did get my first job and I worked at that little boutique for almost a year. I want to share some stories, some funny stories about that with you. I've got so many different things I want to say to you. But uh, anyway, um, I hope that I have not forgot to tell you something. I went on to you guys, I just keep getting phone calls. But anyway, Hope's style is changing every day. She changes with the wind. But I guess I better go. I've got three different phone calls to uh, return. Bryant, my husband, Kayla just called, and somebody from church. So I will, go, I will let you guys go. I love you. I'm excited about the day. That was Kayla again. Anyway, I got to go, you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.